quick video here on how to properly use the horizontal bandsaw. A lot of misuse happens with the bandsaw. It tends to destroy the blade and uh, you'll end up with cuts that you're not very happy with. Uh, one of the big concerns is lubrication. Lubrication needs to be turned on. The coolant pump here, we adjust the lubrication with these two valves. This is an on-off valve. That's off, that's on. This is a flow adjustment. As we turn it counterclockwise, it will flow faster. Clockwise will flow slower. As we turn this on, we can see that there's uh, fluid coming by looking down onto the blade here. Turn it up a little bit until you see fluid coming. And then turn it back down to where there's just enough fluid is, is working there. We'll turn this back off as we adjust the rest of it. To run this valve here will allow the saw to bleed down. This small valve on the end will adjust your speed. Typically slower is better. You'll make the blades last longer. You'll end up with nicer cuts, especially when you're doing miters. Take your piece, put it in the jaws on the clamp, tighten the clamp down. I like to drop my blade down to just above there, set it on my line, get my stride mark, make sure I'm clamped tightly, make sure that your speed is adjusted properly, slower is better, something like that, stop the descent, turn on the saw, and then once you've got coolant, let her rip. You will be able to see coolant on the material, if you don't see coolant on the material, it's probably not coming out. If you need to add coolant, if you have a coolant that can't be added in the reservoir in the back and underneath the saw, turn the saw off, fill the coolant in that basket. Uh, you do want to have three teeth on your material at all times. What that means is the blades that we carry in the shop, we carry an 18 tooth per inch. Your material should be uh, 0.16 of an inch. Uh, basically eighth inch is very marginal. That's a little smaller than that. Anything eighth inch or smaller you should be cutting flat. Anything larger than eighth inch you can cut on the edge. You will end up with a nicer um, cut cutting it flat as long as you're not trying to do something too drastic. Okay thanks for watching. Hopefully we'll get our blades to last a little bit longer. Everybody can enjoy the saw. Uh, I'm going to try to use it properly.